course, Mrs. Kennedy is very well known as a style icon, um, admiration of her fashion sense. And uh, the first ensemble she wore as First Lady, of course, was uh, on Inauguration Day, uh, this uh, grayish colored uh, wool coat and dress designed by Ole Cassini. Um, I think it's sort of a wonderful example of her uh, simple uh, elegance that uh, became very, very popular. Uh, and the only thing she wore to adorn the ensemble was a uh, really beautiful ruby brooch um, by Tiffany that uh, JFK actually gave her to celebrate the birth of John Jr. And she wore that during the inaugural luncheon right after the swearing in. And of course, most famously finishing the ensemble was this pillbox hat by Halston, uh, which she wore that day. Not, uh, and she wore it on the back of her head so that um, her face could be seen. And that actually set a, uh, a fashion trend, whereas the hat would normally be worn on the very top of the head. She had it pushed back to sort of frame her face. Displayed here in its storage box is perhaps one of Mrs. Kennedy's best known dresses, the Cheney known dress she wore uh, during her televised tour of the White House in February of 1962. Uh, visitors to our museum, when we have this dress on exhibit, are quite surprised to realize that it's red because, of course, the program was, was filmed in black and white and broadcast in black and white. Uh, but I like to surmise that she chose red for that program, knowing that it would be televised on Valentine's Day, 1962. Let's go into the museum and look at some other examples of Jacqueline Kennedy's clothing that we have on display. Mrs. Kennedy put an awful lot of thought into her wardrobe uh, when she was representing the country, both at the White House and while traveling abroad. She would think about um, what colors uh, would mean something to the country uh, I'm about to visit. So for her visit to Canada in May of 1961, actually the first state visit the Kennedys made as President and First Lady. She chose this red suit by Pierre Cardin uh, as a gesture of respect for the, the red of the Canadian maple leaf and knowing that she would be uh, greeted by the Royal uh, Canadian Mounted Police who very famously uh, wear red. In this case here we display a pistachio green coat and hat worn by the First Lady uh, for her arrival in Bogota, Colombia in December of 1961. Uh, the President and First Lady traveled throughout South America uh, on that visit, were greeted by hundreds of thousands of people, uh, an overwhelming response, uh, particularly when Mrs. Kennedy would address the crowds uh, in Spanish. I really admire uh, the thought that Mrs. Kennedy put in to her wardrobe. She would think about the event she was attending or the country she would, was visiting. Was there a style or a particular color that she could wear that would mean something uh, to her hosts? And she also knew the advantage of choosing a color or a style that would make her stand out in a crowd.